Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Ola Kalenius, CEO of Mercedes-Benz. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Buonasera, signore e signori. We just saw it uh, in the video. This beautiful country and the Mercedes brand share a deep friendship. Before we go further, though, I would like to take a moment to wish Pope Francis a quick recovery, as he has recently been suffering from some health issues. I had the privilege to meet him back in December when we presented him with the new Pope Mobile. Now the entire Mercedes family is wishing him a swift return to good health. We're grateful, we're grateful to be guests here in Rome. And it is so great to have you with us. We're gathering under one of the most legendary and most valuable logos in the world, the Mercedes Star. The Star has been a strong promise for our customers for more than a century. That's the blink of an eye in the eternal city, but an eternity in the car world. We're a brand with an extensive history, a legacy of its own. Generations of innovation, design, performance, racing, and so much more have made this brand iconic. And we have made icons, and icons have made us. Sophia Loren was a passionate Gullwing owner. Legends like Elvis Presley, Coco Chanel, and Grace Kelly all were proud Mercedes drivers. Today, the list of living legends who all love Mercedes is just as long and impressive. I mean, name any other car brand that has been mentioned in over 16,000 songs. Yes, we do embrace our cultural relevance, but what initially fueled our drive was something else. Passion. A passion for engineering and for the tireless strive for perfection and innovation. For nothing but the best. The 300 SL was a product of that passion. Today, it's one of the most sought after vehicles in the classic car market. In the 1950s, we premiered the predecessor of the S-Class, and to this day, the S-Class is proof of our commitment to safety, comfort, and quality. It's widely considered the best car in the world. We've made motorsports history and continue to race for champions. We built and auctioned the most valuable car in the world for 135 million euros and the runner-up too. But as much as we enjoy glancing in the rearview mirror, for us at Mercedes, it's always been more important to focus on what's ahead. The Vision EQXX began as a larger-than-life vision. It became an engineering masterpiece and the most efficient Mercedes ever made. The first electric Mercedes to run beyond 1,200 kilometers on one single charge. The car you'll see in a few moments translates this vision into serious production. We're the inventors and the reinventors of the automobile. This day marks the beginning of a new era for Mercedes, an entirely new digital experience, an ultimate evidence that the future is electric. This new generation of vehicles will bring everything you know about Mercedes to a new level. We set out to lead in electric drive and digital experience. Tonight, we'll show you what we mean. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not just another car launch. The CLA marks the start of the greatest series of car launches ever for Mercedes-Benz. Introducing the most efficient and intelligent cars we've ever built. Supercomputers on wheels, paired with uni unique design and exquisite craftsmanship. Zero compromise cars, no matter the drivetrain. We'll offer cutting edge BEV and ICE models. They will exploit their respective strengths without sacrificing space, elegance, or efficiency. And the new CLA is the front runner and blueprint for the technology we're going to see in every new Mercedes 
from now on. Everyone say ciao bella to the new Mercedes-Benz CLA. These cars are absolutely gorgeous. Let me point out a few of my highlights. Kicking off with the reduced yet elegant dynamic design. When you meet someone new, where do you look first? Right? Their eyes and their smile. The CLA's radiant grille features no less than 142 individually animated LED stars. It's the first fully illuminated grill panel on a Mercedes. Do I need a grill like that? Probably not. Do I want it? Heck yeah. <laughs> the next thing you'll notice is the panoramic uh, glass roof, flooding the interior with sun and light. This high-tech feature comes standard, and it's engineered with an ultra-thin coating to protect passengers from solar glare and sunburn. You're buying what feels like a sports car, but it is a fully functional sedan. The classic trunk and the new frunk can hold much more luggage than you'd expect. Did I mention this beautiful star-shaped front and taillight design? In essence, we've elevated the entire product from front to back. On the inside, we're using the finest materials, metal, wood, leather, glass. It's all about craftsmanship. The roof adds to the lofty living room vibe. I'm 195 meters tall, and it would actually fit four of me. With the MBUX super screen being the unrivaled hero, the interior serves as a high-end entertainment room. One that I wish I had in my house, frankly speaking. The screen spans the entire width of the interior and boasts game engine powered graphics. It even allows front seat passengers to bring their controllers and play video games while on the go. The screen also is the perfect canvas to display what our AI enhanced operating system, MBOS, is capable of. MBOS is the brain of this car the intelligent combination of hardware and software. Back in 1969, a computer with a computing power of less than 100,000 commands per second took humanity to the moon. Today, we have chips like this. It conducts no less than 254 trillion operations per second. And it's so powerful, it needs water cooling. MBOS has been developed in-house, in close collaboration with some of the best tech partners on the planet. NVIDIA for automated driving, Qualcomm for infotainment, to drop just two names. The intelligence of what used to be 48 or more individual control units has been bundled into four domain computers. Less complexity, more capacity. This is the software-defined car. So what's in it for the customers? One, you'll buy a very intelligent car in the first place. It will be even smarter 12 months later, and it keeps getting more capable 
the longer you own it, thanks to over-the-air updates. This car will age like a fine bottle of Italian wine. Two, you'll get a hyper-personalized experience, one that is more intuitive than ever. The virtual assistant will evolve from a helpful companion to a super-intelligent and empathetic friend, a machine you actually want to talk to. It combines the best AI, AI, AI agents from Microsoft and Google to find really good answers and solutions, even for complex tasks. Think of it as the best co-driver you've ever had, and one that is discreet by design. In a Mercedes, passengers are safe, and all your data is secure. Just say the name of your favorite car brand, and promptly, the Mercedes Virtual Assist will answer all your questions. Let's try it. Hey, Mercedes. How may I help you? Who's playing tonight uh, down there at the Olympic Stadium? In tonight's EuroLeague quarterfinals, Lazio Rome is playing against Victoria Pilsen. Thank you. This, sim this system simply knows a lot, including the best way to take you places as quickly and smoothly as possible. You will see the navigation beautifully staged on the MBUX super screen, powered by the latest Google Maps GPS data, or AMAP data in China, or TMAP in Korea, depending on your location. And merging high-end navigation data with automated driving capabilities is where the magic really happens. The CLA excels in driver assistance. We've covered the whole car in up to 27 sensors and cameras, all seamlessly integrated. The system is wide awake, relentlessly scanning all surroundings for you. What is all that for? For one, it will be next to impossible to accidentally scratch your dentist car when parking, just in case you really, really want to self-park at all. More importantly, we're now able to offer our customers full point-to-point -point navigation, or so-called level 2++ plus plus capability, which simply means this car does the driving in most everyday traffic situations. And we're talking heavy traffic, Beijing-style heavy traffic. Even if the driver decides to take the wheel, the system remains active and attentive. We call it cooperative steering. Human and machine literally work hand in hand to get the job done. Once you experienced it, you'll love it. We will offer certified level 2++ driving in China later this year. We'll target the US next year, and the EU will follow as soon as the regulatory framework is in place. We'll thus fundamentally elevate automated driving and expand our leading role in this field. Of course, we'll do so the Mercedes way. Safe, intuitive, comfortable, and efficient. Speaking of efficiency, the CLA is the most efficient series-built Mercedes we've ever made. It is the one-liter car for the electric age, or for the numbers people among you, as little as 12.2 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. The bottom line is, we've outdone ourselves. The CLA is super competitive in every relevant area. Range, charging speed, consumption, you name it. This is the EQXX for the road. Promise made, promise kept. The CLA is now able to go up to 792 kilometers on a single charge according to the WLTP standard. According to the Chinese CLTC cycle, we're even looking at over 850 kilometers. Charging will be a breeze, almost like fueling. Plug it in and you'll get up to an extra 325 kilometers within 10 minutes. I visit my home country, Sweden, every summer to see my family. That's roughly a 1,100 kilometer drive from Stuttgart. With the CLA, I could probably make it with just 
one stop. So long, range anxiety. So far, so far, I've been uh, promoting the electric version, and for good reason. In case you're still not fully convinced of electric vehicles, do your thing. We've got you covered. The electrified hybrids are just as uncompromising. Thanks to our modular architecture, they share the beauty and most of the technology. Our new high-tech hybrid engine is nothing less than the most efficient ICE engine we've ever made. That is what happens when you give some of the brightest engineers in the company the freedom to do their thing. We will be able to cater to different customer needs well into the 2030s. So which of the siblings to get? Usually they tell you not to pick a favorite child. Today, I'll make an exception. I'd go for the all-electric CLA. With the CLA, the price points, with the CLA, the price points for BEV and ICE will be converging. And the total cost of ownership is lower for most electric vehicles anyway. Going electric just makes sense in so many ways. That is why we are committed to going net carbon neutral by the end of the next decade. The CLA plays a vital role in delivering on our ambition 2039. With a 40% lower carbon footprint compared to its non-electric uh, predecessor, 30% less CO2 for its battery cell, and a net carbon neutral production powered by 100% green energy. To wrap it up, this is a completely new vehicle. Only the name remains. Everything else has been taken to an entirely new level. This is Mercedes engineering. You'll get more than what you asked for. The CLA shooting break will follow suit later this year. But we can, uh, we can already have uh, a little sneak peek tonight. After the shooting break, break there will be uh, two more entry tickets coming to the Mercedes-Benz family. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm pretty sure you'll all agree. This scenery is breathtaking. These stunning cars paired with one of the world's most beautiful backdrops. This really is a moment to remember. Hey Mercedes, get us in the mood to appreciate this magical night in Rome. All right, Ola. Adjusting setup to your preferences. Thank you.